Hey everyone, so about a year ago I had done a review on the power bank console that looked exactly like this one and one that looked a little bit different but they're all from the same AliExpress shop. This is supposedly the new upgraded model and from the listing the only thing that seems to be upgraded is that it's no longer stuck. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to mean but that's what the listing says. I remember specifically on the last one mine was like stuck in turbo mode and there was no way to turn it off because there are no settings so I'm gonna see if I have that issue with this one. And it is both a power bank and a gaming console in one and it's about $30 where I live so it can be different depending for everybody else, but considering what it is, I don't expect it to do well this time either, but I just wanted to check it out to see if the new upgraded model really meant anything or if it was just a gimmick to get more people to buy another one or their first one. Okay, this time it does not seem to be stuck in turbo mode, which is nice. And I quickly just wanted to show the manual that came with the device so you could check it out and see everything that's included. Obviously pause to read because I'm just going to go through it really quickly. Well, itself, as you can see, the trigger buttons are actually on the front L and R, so that's a little bit weird. And then you do get Y, X, A, B all on the front, D-pad, and a joystick. And it comes with this little paw cover, but obviously you can take that off and not use it. Or you can choose to use it, up to you. Then you have the reset button, the start button, and the select button. On the bottom you'll find the headphone jack, a USB-A port, a USB-C port, and a micro USB port. And then the button that lets you know the charge of the device. On the top you'll find your volume slider, your micro SD card slot, and the power button for the game console itself. And on each side you'll get one lightning port charging cable, one USB-C charging cable. So in real life that looks, it just says 68, but for some reason on camera it's going crazy right now. I don't know what's going on. notice though there doesn't seem to be a settings button I notice when you like load it up you get the settings icon but I don't see how you're supposed to actually get into settings if that is an option as of right now I don't see any way to go to settings and change anything if you wanted to which is kind of a bummer but I didn't expect there to be really much to change anyways or like to configure anything because it's such a cheap device another thing is when I went to add some games myself I wanted to specifically add GBA games. When I went into the file folder, they were .zgb files, and I have no idea how to acquire files like that or convert ones that I have into that. .gba files do not seem to work. Like I specifically tried adding one of my Hamtaro games because I love to do that, and that game's known for having trouble on emulators if they're not powerful enough, so that's why I really wanted to test it. But I cannot figure out how to add my own GBA games. What I'm trying to say is like, Usually this game specifically is called Hamtaro Ham Ham Heartbreak. It has trouble on not powerful emulators. Like when you first load the game, it gets stuck on the start menu if it's not powerful enough. But I tried adding it and I can't figure out how to add it. These all came with it. Well, let me try to loading up a different one anyways, just to see if it can load. It's okay, so this one seems to load right into the game, so that's good. I really wanted to test the other one, but I don't know how to add files. And now I'm just going to quickly test some other GBA games. I usually like to just watch the loading screens on these because that's usually an, a good indicator if the game is going to lag later on since this is the most like cinematic part of the game. And while that's loading, I noticed they still haven't spelled machine correctly. It's still Machine, so I, they haven't changed that on their newer upgrade. So yeah, obviously Castlevania lags a lot, so I think that's about as much power you're going to get out of this as some GBA games and older. I'm not sure, like, I mostly only play 
Game Boy when it comes to these old. Well, usually I like to test the loading screens for these games, because usually if it lags here, it's going to lag in the game. I forgot to mention everything else that came in the box. So first you get a USB-C charging cable and the manual. You also get some cables to plug it into a TV if you want to play it displayed on a TV as well. And you also get two thumb grips, one's that pink paw print and one's like a plain black rubber one. Finally, for the actual power bank part of it, I was able to charge my phone from 30% to full. And then this thing ran out of, out of batteries. So I don't think you'll be able to get an absolutely full charge out of this, but you'll get a good amount. Especially if your phone's charging from dead to to full power, but if you if you're like down to thirty percent, you'll get a full charge out of it. So, and of course, it's different depending on what type of phone you have and the battery capacity and the battery health of your phone. So I feel like there's too many variables to really test that part of it out. But that was my experience with it. So I'm not really gonna test too many more games because again, I feel like. It's pretty obvious that it's only going to play the really old stuff decently, and then then with Game Boy Advance, it's only going to play some of the library. So overall, I only recommend this device if you just want to collect it, just because you will collect these, or if it's absolutely your only option in your budget range, then I think you'll be able to get, get away with it. But of course, there are a lot of better options out there, but of course, they're going to cost more. So if you can save up, then probably get something different but if you just if you're happy with just some really old stuff then this should work out for you Alrighty, thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one